Let me tell you about a famous artist named Pablo Picasso. He became successful backwards in a way. What I mean is, as a small child, he worked very hard and learned to paint and draw like this when he was very young. It's called The Old Fisherman, and he painted it when he was only 14 years old. Then he spent the rest of his life, even as an adult, learning to paint and draw as a child would, with expression and creativity. As a result, many of his later paintings were abstract. In other words, they looked unnatural or dreamlike, like they were detached from reality. Picasso painted this, the old guitarist, when he was 22 years old, so he was a grown-up. See the light and dark values of blue and the long, bent hands and feet? Picasso was going through a hard time in his life, and he wanted to show the sadness he felt. So, using mostly blues and long, exaggerated shapes, he's not trying to make it look real anymore. Many of his later artworks even look like they've been cut up or rearranged to show front and side views, or the top and bottom of objects all at the same time. One of these paintings is called The Weeping Woman, and he painted this at age 56. In this painting, he used all the different shapes to show sadness. Picasso said, It has taken me a lifetime to learn to paint like this, with this kind of expression, the way a child would. This style he created came to be known as Cubism. Well, that's what we will do. We will create an abstract portrait in the style of Picasso's Cubism, using lights and darks of just one color. Next, I'll show you some of the first steps. Stay tuned. The first few steps, if we do them the same, makes it a lot easier. First, we're gonna draw a large, simple shape for the head. Then we're gonna go from the top of the paper to the bottom of the paper with a line and we're going to go from side to side with a line. That makes the shape for the head large enough and it makes the background part of the design. So watch and we'll do these first few steps together. Large simple shape for the head I haven't made a mark yet, I'm just practicing. And when you're ready, you can make your mark. See that I started lighter, now I'm going to go back and make it darker. You don't have to trace it perfectly. That sketchy look makes it look better. Now I go from the top of the paper to the bottom of the paper with a line. You can make it straight if you want, but if you throw in some zigs and some zags, those can be parts of the face. Once again, I'm practicing. And when you're ready, make your mark. Again, I started light. Now I'll go back to make it darker. So from top to bottom, and now from side to side. Remember if you're not sure, practice it first before you even make a mark. 
but when you make your mark, remember to start light. This gives you a good start so you can start adding the parts of the face. So you do this and catch up with me in just a minute. 